Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number five from Mirage Comics. So this came out May 1988, and that's also the same date that issue number 14 of the main run came out. But I decided to do this issue first just because this is a Tales of uh, run, and this can be just like its own separate one shot. Whereas I'm assuming the issue number 14 is going to continue the main story. I haven't read it yet, but that will be the next video. But yeah, let's get right into this one. This one has nothing whatsoever to do with Eastman Allard. Uh, the story and the artwork was done by Jim Lawson, Ryan Brown, and Steve Levine. So once again, we have another issue where our uh, creators are not involved whatsoever. Still a good issue though. So yeah, we start off with one of the turtles basically talking about superheroes and they're going to tell their story of their encounter with a superhero. And uh, so we start off with Complete Carnage. And um, that's the name of this character. And that name like reminded me of something. I was like, where have I heard Complete Carnage before? I thought I have heard it somewhere, but it was I was wrong. It wasn't Complete Carnage. It was Maximum Carnage. So Maximum Car Carnage was uh, an arc for Spider-Man that had to deal with Carnage. And um, they also had a video game. That I remember playing on the Super NES, Maximum Carnage. But that's not a here nor there. So let's get back to this. I just thought that that was interesting. So yeah, Complete Carnage. Um, Complete Carnage basically tells his story of how he came to be. So he was actually born a regular dude, and he was working on construction, and they they were basically trying to pour the last section of a cr concrete wall. But then it started raining, and it started um, there were thunders coming around. And the boss was, the foreman was basically calling everyone to come inside, like, just forget it. But our character here, just, he, like, he was just so determined to install the last row of, you know, st steel rebar inside. But as he was doing that, he was struck by lightning. And when he woke up, he was grotesque and evil. How being struck by lightning makes you evil, I don't know. But that's what happens. Uh, he basically becomes evil and he, he becomes like uh, almost rock like he's like a concrete monster so i guess becoming concrete monster makes you evil whatever but he also finds out that there is uh, another woman that got struck by uh, the same lightning bolt at the same time how one lightning bolt was able to strike two people in two separate areas i don't know i mean i can understand if it's like lightning from the same storm but doesn't lightning only hit one area or am i just thinking that wrong Either way, this other woman got hit by the same uh, lightning bolt, but rather than becoming evil, she became the opposite. She became um, good, and basically she became like, infused with like liquid energy, and she calls herself Radical. And the two are basically destined to fight each other, and fought each other, they have, multiple times, with Radical always coming out on top. Until, I thought this part was kind of funny. At one point, Radical... Uh, chucks him and she's trying to chuck him to the north pole but as he's flying through the air he collides with a plane that causes him to drop in uh new york where he lands inside a temple the holy order of zintaoist they, they are basically a religious cult that uh believed that he is their prophet because it was foretold in their their bible that someone like him would show up so they basically train with him and they help him uh, boost up his powers to the point where now instead of just being, you know, hard as rock, giggity, uh, he's actually able to move freely within steel and concrete walls. So instead of just being as hard as steel and concrete, he can now actually phase through and move through them. And, um, you know, of course, he gets stronger and stuff. And so uh, this is when he decides... You know, it's it's time for me to seek out Radical. Like now, with my new powers, I should be able to beat her, and then, um, you know, I can take over the city basically. And so we see uh, Radical riding on her bike through New York traffic, and April and the turtles almost run her over. When all of a sudden, uh, Carnage's hand pops out from the it, it melts out from the floor, grabs her bike tire, and causes her to, to fall off. And the complete carnage just pops out of the ground. He's like, you know, it's time to fight. And so uh, Radical transforms into a Radical state. And then they, they fight all through the city. And the turtles want to help. But people's like, no, like, we can't because we can't be seen. Obviously, this is a 
packed, you know, New York City street. We can't just hop out and help her. I thought it was kind of weird how everyone was just chilling out in their car. Meanwhile, two super creatures are battling each other right in front of them. And they just don't seem to care. <laughs> Only April and the turtles do. So, yeah, I guess this is just like an everyday occurrence with the New Yorkers. They're just like, ah, there goes that crazy radical and complete carnage fighting again. I hope they don't, you know, damage my car this time. But yeah, so they're fighting. Uh, Complete Carnage getting the upper hand when all of a sudden April hits him with her car and he crashes through the floor. But he's able to qu quickly regain his himself and he grabs Radical, knocks her out, and then he flies off with her. And the turtle's like, you know, we, we got to hunt him down. And so uh, we cut to a um, concrete place, uh, a place uh, that's like under construction or whatever. And Radical is tied up inside this box. Complete Carnage is going to dump a bunch of concrete on her. And he believes that if I fill you up with concrete and then I absorb the concrete, I might be able to steal your power that way. If not, well, like, you know, you'll die. So I got nothing to lose. But as he's starting to pour concrete into uh, the box that she's in, the turtles arrive and they free her. She starts fighting uh, Carnage and... Carnage starts fighting against the turtles as well. And it's basically, it's just like a back and forth with um, anytime like the turtles start trying to, to throw him or attack him, he just phases through the floors and the walls and stuff like that. And eventually he's able to sneak up behind Radical and he starts putting her in a chokehold when she rips off one of his arms. And I believe this is Leo. I can't tell because it's just a close up of his face. But he says like, you know, don't toss the arm away because then he can just absorb it through the floor. So Radical takes off with the arm and she goes to Central Park, which is away from buildings and concrete and stuff like that. And she believes that like, you know, if I throw it here in the bushes, he won't be able to, to phase and grab it. And so he'll be armless, or at least he'll be without one arm. Uh, and then Complete Carnage shows up. The turtles show up as well. They start fighting Complete Carnage. Radical joins in. Even then, like Complete Carnage is able to, to hold his own and fight them off. And he knocks Radical down. He um, asks where his arm is. He's, he's basically like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna kill you guys. When Radical is like, there's only one thing I can do. I have to use my particle beam ability. So she uses it, there's a huge explosion, and then both Complete Carnage and Radical are gone. And the turtle's like, well, um, looks like she basically sacrificed herself to beat him. So she, she died with honor. Complete carnage is destroyed as well. All that's left are like some particles and some debris of complete carnage. So they decide to put each of the, the pieces of carnage into separate uh, letters and mail them to different parts of the world so that, you know, they can't ever join together and form. And then uh, at the very end, we see complete carnage's arm, the one that Radical threw in the bushes, is still, you know, alive and stuff. And it's moving and it's trying to hitchhike on the, alongside the road. <laughs> and that's how it ends. And then we get a sneak peek for uh, the next Tales of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is the introduction of Leatherhead. And I'm like, ooh, that's awesome. Like, I want to see that because I like, I like Leatherhead. He's, he's cool. But yeah, there we go. There's the story of Complete Carnage and his rival Radical. Once again, just a, a one shot that has nothing to do with the main story whatsoever. Has nothing to do with Eastman or uh, Lard. Uh, they're not involved in any way, not in the story or the art or anything like that. With that said, this was, this was a decent issue. Not my favorite of the Tales of series that I've read so far, but it wasn't bad. It was a nice, you know, good little fun between Complete Carnage and Radical and stuff like that. Like, I like the whole idea of like two beings who are like two sides of the same coin and destined to fight each other for eternity and stuff. Like that's, I don't know, that's always kind of like cool. Yeah, the artwork is, is, is good. Obviously, I like the original artwork by the creators of Turtles. Like, you know, Eastman and Lord, like, I like the, their original stuff more. I, I just like their style. Um, Eastman has like just a really cool art style that I like. But this one isn't that bad. It's, you know, it, it's, it still captures the essence of the, of the Turtles and things like that. So yeah, this was a, a good issue. I liked it. Again, not the best of the tale of the tales of that I've read so far, but it wasn't like a terrible issue or anything like that. It was a nice, entertaining one shot. 
But there we go. There is Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number five by Mirage Comics. And then the next video, we will have issue number 14 of the main run. And hopefully with that one, we will get back to actually progressing our story instead of just a bunch of, uh, you know, self-contained one shots. But uh, I guess we'll see and find out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later. So what'd you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.